Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be explaining the procedure to obtain the SPL. SPL stands for Student Pilot License. It is the first step towards achieving your dream of obtaining commercial or private pilot license. If you are interested in flying an aircraft, you must apply and possess a student pilot license. It is a prerequisite for flying and flying training. It is after obtaining an SPL that candidates can move forward to advanced licenses like the PPL, CPL and ATPL. This video covers all the important details from A to Z that you need to know about obtaining student pilot license in Sri Lanka. First of all, applying and obtaining SPL is not as complex as it seems. No flying training is required to obtain SPL. Student pilot license is just like a learner's license. It is something that we must possess before we learn to fly and handle aircraft. So no flying training is required before one may apply for it. In fact, one must possess student pilot license to start flying training. First, let us discuss about the requirements. Candidates must be at least 16 years of age when applying for this license. Competency on English language and candidates must have class 1 or 2 medical certificate. He or she should be medically fit as per the DGCA guidelines, security clearance or the police report and a letter of enrollment of an approved flying school. I have a separate video on approved flying schools in Sri Lanka. You can check it out later and the link is in the description box below. Here are the medical checks that you will have to go through before obtaining the license. I have also included a PDF which was issued by the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka which explains about the medical procedure. You can check them out later. The first step is to enroll with the flying school. As I said earlier, you can check out my video on the approved flying schools in Sri Lanka and then you have to register with the computerized licensing system through www.caa.lk. This is the website of the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka and then you have to create a user profile and add the SPL issuance application form. You can also download the SPL issuance application form from the description box below. And in case you need any assistance to create the profile or add new application, you can press the help button on the website. Next, you have to visit the personal licensing section with the original documents and make the relevant payments to commence the process of evaluation. Then you have to submit the personal particulars form to obtain the security clearance. And also you have to submit the application for medical clearance. After completing the process, you can check the status of your application through your profile in the licensing system. Now let us have a look at what are the documents required for this process. The originals and copies of the educational qualifications and then the national identity card, the NIC or the passport and then the birth certificate and also flying school enrollment certificate especially for trainees and two stamp size photographs.
These are the relevant fees for the medical examination, application evaluation and for the issuance of the SPL. This is just basically everything you need to know about the student pilot license and in case you have any queries you can contact the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka and here are the contact details of the authority. Thanks for watching and for those who are interested you can check out my videos on how to obtain the commercial pilot license and private pilot license. Do not forget to give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel.